Hey everybody, Joshua, TBC Consultants. Uh, we are doing a brake job on my 2018 Great Dane spread axle. It's got a Hendrickson suspension under it. Um, I looked all over YouTube, couldn't find a good video for this. This one is equipped with disc brakes. And as you can see, we had some pad left, but it's getting to the point where the stroke on the caliper was almost completely out. So it's due time it's time to change them and you can see there's almost an additional inch of a pad on those new ones so those ones will throw away uh, it's pretty simple you got to remove your uh, tires obviously first make sure you disconnect your air lines if you have automatic air hubs um, inside here there's a pressure plate as well that the caliper pushes against to evenly apply pressure to the brake pads. Um, so I'll try to show you guys the back of it back here. And so you can see right here in the carriage where your pads slide in. And this should be able to move freely. Now back here, the easiest way I found to do it is pull these two bolts, drop your uh, brake chamber, make sure your brakes are released, or else it'll fight you and it'll be really hard to get out of there. And then this nut right back here, let me see if I can show you. This one right here is a 10 millimeter. You back your, you back your caliper all the way back in, you pull your piston all the way back in until you start to see this knob and it'll it'll start to move towards you. And that's when you stop. That's when your piston's fully retracted back into the caliper and you're ready to remove your old brakes. And remember, your spacer pad goes right back in. Your spacer pad goes right back in there and it sits down in that cradle and then sits on that pin. And so you wanna make sure that that is in before you go to put your brakes back together. Right. So the easiest way I found to do this is slide your caliper over. Sometimes you gotta tap them a little bit to get them to sit. Just remember if you gotta beat it too hard, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> that one to sit in there and then I slide my pressure plate I don't know if that's exactly what they call it but that's what it does so that's what I'm gonna call it told you that pin will start to come towards you. Can you point out the pin again? Yeah, the pin's right here on the end of the piston. Move your finger. And you'll see, watch, as I back it off, see how it starts to pull it towards you. And you just have to kind of find the adjustment to get your pressure plate to sit in there right. And then slide your inner pad in. Just like so. And then whatever you do, don't forget your keeper in the brake shoe kit, they'll give you a new keeper for your for your pressure plate. Put that on there. You take this keeper right here, plugs in right here, and it should sit over everything and it holds everything right into place. And in the kit that I got, they gave me new keeper new nut to hold this keeper in place it holds everything and so just because I don't really like uh, breaking or stripping nuts off <laughs> I take the time to apply a fairly liberal amount of anti-seize to the end of my new 
not push it up in there start your bolt come on baby start your bolt like so run her down in okay make sure she's set good and tight in there and then that 10 millimeter nut on the back side, you just go ahead and run it all the way down till it's tight. Remember your brake's gotta be released. Well, it doesn't really matter now because your caliper's off or your chamber's off rather, but. So what, do you, what were you going to say? So you take that, adjust, that 10 millimeter adjustment nut, you run your piston all the way out till it sets and then get your get your friction point and you go a quarter turn or just past a quarter turn off and make sure you got free movement on your hub there you go take your uh, take your anti-seize put a little bit on here what's that that is your brake, your air, brake chamber. Okay. I usually hang, hang it from a bungee underneath the trailer. That way you don't risk uh, snapping airlines. Right. While you're taking these things on, off and it's hanging there. Some complicated, uh, everything works together. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you never know. Great Dane might have like a specialty little wrench that they don't have to, they don't have to take the brake chamber off, but I don't have that. And when you're on the road or in your driveway, <laughs> you're normally not going to, so you just gotta figure <laughs> out how to make it work. There you go. Your brakes are, you got brand new brake shoes, brand new keepers, reinstall your tires, you're good to go. You guys got any questions or anything, uh, just reach out to us. Make comments down below or reach out to us at TBC Consultants. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you on down the road.